Hello everyone, hope you find yourself having a great day. Today we're going to uh, continue with our introduction to Ubuntu and we're going to uh, inform you how to install Samba. Now Samba is going to be a way for you to uh, share and uh, have shares visible on your computer that may be on your local network. So we're going to install Samba by launching a terminal and issuing a simple command apt apt I'm sorry sudo sudo space apt apt dash get space install samba s a m b a and at this point hit enter on your keyboard it'll go through the process ask you uh, whether or not you'd like to install samba enter yes because I've already installed it I don't want to uh, mess up my config but I'll hit this at this point it'll ask you for a password and because I've already installed it, it shows me that uh, I have zero upgraded and zero newly installed. You'll see a little bit of a different message where your uh, Samba, Samba has uh, installed and completed successfully. Once it's completed ses successfully, you're going to need to launch a terminal again. And I've got some commands that you're going to issue uh, in my show notes here. And we'll start out by showing you what you'll enter. First, because we've already installed Samba, we're, we're past this sudo apt get install Samba. Now we need to configure a Samba config file that uh, Samba has installed. So we're going to edit that from our terminal and with this command, by pasting it in our terminal and executing it, it's going to launch gedit, which is just a text editor, and it's going to launch it with uh, somewhat of a, uh, administrative rights where we can then edit it and save changes. So we'll hit enter. It's asking for our password. And this is uh, the Samba config file that it's brought up for us to edit. Now there's a couple of areas in here we need to modify. We'll need to modify the work group so that it matches the name of your work group. And typically, if you're on a Windows network or uh, anything of that nature, you're going to see that your work group is named work group. So we're going to go into our uh, Samba config file. And you'll see that we need to change this area here so that work group equals work group. And in my case, it's all uppercase. Uh, your work group may be different. It may not be named work group, but in any case, you'll need to name this the name of your work group. For most people, it's going to be work group all uppercase. And you'll see we've got to modify an, an additional area a little further down in the Samba config file. We need to take these two elements, copy and paste these. I'll put these in the show notes for you so you'll have easy access to them. We're going to copy these, and we're going to scroll down just a touch, and you'll see right here is where they are. They need to be changed, and I'll paste that in there, and you'll see that now that we've got uh, name, resolve order, e bcast, host, and netbios name equals mybuntu. Now that's the name of uh, the, your computer, the one that you're configuring, uh, as it will be seen on the network. Once you've finished editing this, click Save and close out that file. Your terminal will have updated at this point and to show reflect that you've saved those changes. So now we're out of here. We can close our terminal down. And to access our network, you'll start your file manager, which in most cases will be Nautilus. And you'll see an area down here on the left called Browse Network. If you double click that, you'll see that uh, I've already accessed my network. But you at this point will likely see Windows Network or any other uh, networks that you have on your uh, local network. Double click that. It'll show your work group, which you're now part of. Double click that, and now it's going to show all computers on your network. I've got one beside me. I've got uh, one in the room where my mother lives. Uh, I've got uh, this actual machine that I'm sitting at, and then I've got a, a Windows server, which is next to me as well. So you can easily go into these at this point. Let's take a look. She's got some pictures that I share with her and we put all these on her machine. So you can see that we've got uh, networking working now at this point under Ubuntu. Uh, some distributions of Ubuntu or Linux, uh, let me rephrase that, some distributions of Linux already have networking partially configured in the point that they'll have Samba installed. Uh, you still still may need to uh, modify your Samba config file to reflect the name of your work group and the name of your uh, local host. So I hope this helps you guys. Let me know if it worked for you. Remember, if you like my channel, please subscribe, rate, and comment. And we'll talk to you in the future. Bye-bye.